Hi everyone, and welcome to part 5 of my 2019 Crossing Newfoundland by ATV video series. In this video, we travel from Lomond to Rocky Harbour in Grossmoor National Park. It included a short ATV ride to Deer Lake where we picked up rental cars and left our ATVs behind so we could drive an hour to the park. We spent two nights there and did some awesome sightseeing. This is the first time we've done anything like this, and all I can say is why haven't we done it before? In part 4, we traveled from Cloudy Pond to Loman River Lodge, and in this video, we travel from there to Grossmorn Cabins in Rocky Harbor. As soon as I get up the next morning, I got cleaned up, packed all my gear in the side-by-side, -side, and then before I went for breakfast, I took a hike on a trail that's behind the main lodge down to the Loman River. It took me about 10 minutes or so. The main building where you check in is right here, and uh, you can't really see that well, but let me show you. I think the trail goes like this. It was a typical brisk September morning in Newfoundland, meaning it was a little on the cool side. But personally for me, I like it a little cool in the morning. After this, I went back to the main building, had breakfast, Gathered up all the guys, we checked our machines over quickly, and then we got on the trail. The first leg of this trip, from Loma to Deer Lake, was on our ATVs, and it was only about 50 kilometers. Usually when we leave Lomond and ride our ATVs all the way down to Deer Lake, it's usually a straight shot on these mountain trails here, which are in great shape. But there's a problem now around Bottomless Pond. A few years ago, something happened that has caused the pond to flood, and it's about 20 feet higher than it used to be. So instead of taking this white road that goes right past it, you have to take an old snowmobile trail now. It's a little rough, it's a little muddy, but it's passable, and here it is. <laughs> When I first saw this and I pulled up to it, I thought for sure I was going to probably sink up to my axles in it and be using my winch for the next three kilometers to get through here, but uh, that wasn't the case at all. I didn't have to hardly spin my tires, certainly didn't need my winch. Uh, it was hard, had a good hard bottom, and uh, we were able to get through all of us without getting stuck. So far so good. We finished our slow three kilometer jaunt uh, down that snowmobile trail, came out at the south end of Bottomless Pond, uh, down here where I have the red triangle marked on my map, and uh, this is what it looked like when we got there in person. Bruce decided to drive up a bit and try to get some photos, and then uh, it got a lot deeper, a lot faster than he thought, so he came back and decided to throw his drone up and get some aerial shots. In case you're wondering, those are the tops of buildings that are sticking out of the water. They belong to people uh, that have camps and cottages there. Since this pond has overflowed with water, uh, this is the sad result. After we left Bottomless Pond, we followed this purple trail all the way down towards this red trail, which takes you right into the middle of Deer Lake. 
From there, we rented a couple of vehicles. We had a minivan and an SUV, and then we drove all the way in to Rocky Harbor. Like I mentioned before, this was a new experience for us in Newfoundland, and we loved it. Just driving along the highway inside Grossmore National Park, and you can see here where the blue line is the highway running through there, and you can see all the mountains and the cliffs in the background. This gives you a little bit of an idea of what it looked like, but it's nothing compared to what it is in person. We booked a bunch of cabins at Grossmore and Cabins, right on the water. It was a great spot, and you'll see it later in the video. You don't really realize how much room 11 guys and all their gear take up until you try to squish it all into a Dodge Caravan and a Ford Explorer. Once we were on our way, it took us about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes to get to where we were going. We had to stop at the visitor center first so we could buy a couple of passes for the cars so we could drive around for a couple of days in the national park. Then we made it to our cabins and checked them out. We were pretty happy with them. They were nicely finished. They all had two bedrooms with queen beds in them and they all had nice views of the water nearby. If you want to learn more about these cabins, go to www.grossmorecabins.ca. On their website, you'll find lots of information about those cabins, some videos and pictures, and you'll also find information about Grossmorn National Park and events that are going on in the area. And if you want to know how you can do a trip like this, go to my website at crossingnewfoundlandbyatv.com. Everything you need to know is there about how to plan this trip for you and your friends or your family members all on your own. After we got checked in and settled away over at Grossmorn Cabins, we walked across the street to Earl's Restaurant. We had a great dinner. The food over there was really good. And as you can tell from the video here, uh, Grossmorn Cabins is right on the water. Grossmore National Park is really big, and there's a lot of great things you can go see there. Sometimes it's hard to decide what you might want to do. For us, we booked a boat tour at Western Brook Pond. We drove 20 minutes up the coastal highway to get there, and this line that you see right here is a 3-kilometer trail you have to walk in to get to the boat terminal. It's a very easy walk. It only takes about 40 minutes. It's in very good condition. But if for some reason you can't walk 3 kilometers, there's another boat tour you can take over in Bond Bay down over here. If you look at Western Brook Pond here, it's basically a big fjord that was created by glaciers a long, long time ago. So the boat takes you from about here all the way through this fjord, and it's amazing. Meters or 1900 feet above us. 
That was a really fun tour. I highly recommend it if you go to Grossmore National Park. After we got back to the cars, we drove back to our cabins over in Rocky Harbor, and then later on that afternoon, a few of us drove up a few miles to Lobster Cove and explored around there a bit where there's a lighthouse, and if the tide is out, you can go down and walk along the shore. Thanks for watching everyone, and stay tuned for part 6, where we drive back to Deer Lake to pick up our ATVs, we get them towed to Cornerbrook, and then we drive from there all the way to Robinson's, where we spend the night at Pirate's Haven. It's a great day.